So it's kind of twofold here. One, we have to get over the fear of reject, rejection and, and a part of that comes through resting in our acceptance with the Father. So if you're accepted and you're in Christ, we stand in Christ, then he's accepted us. Nobody else can reject us in the sense of yes, they can reject us or there can be a rejection of the message or of the ministry. But at the end of the day, it isn't that you're rejected because you are accepted by the Father. So that delivers a lot of clarity when you experience rejection on the streets. Like, I'd hope that you, you, we could keep going in the gospel and not allow rejection to define the way we live. We live in preaching the gospel because we're accepted by the Father. And we want to see others accepted in Christ as well, the ministry of reconciliation. So that's a big one there. And then the second thing is like getting over the fear of rejection is even just having a good healthy reality of what rejection is, especially here in the States. The greatest rejection I've received, I mean, I've had knives pulled on at me in the midst or guns pointed at me, all this kind of a thing out on the streets, but they never rejected. It was always a moment where they broke down and then they encountered the Lord. But probably the greatest rejection I've ever experienced on the streets in the US was literally just, you know, kind of like F off kind of a thing. Somebody just swearing me off and they keep walking. I've never been uh, beat for the gospel. I've, I've had, as I said, I've had knives turned on me, but I've never been beat for the gospel. I've never been imprisoned for the gospel, which is a huge blessing. So if you live in the States and you're asking this question, like, how do you overcome rejection? Man, part of it is like, let's get over ourselves because <laughs> rejection in the States is literally like somebody just yelling at you. But I would all take getting yelled at for the sake of their soul so they don't go to hell. So rejection has a really uh, it subsides in the weightiness of it totally dissolves. One, when you realize your acceptance with God and two, when you look at it in the grand scheme of eternity, because in the grand scheme of heaven and hell, uh, it, rejection is, is just a part of the package.